Here you can see Dialect Flow CX. And when you start it for the first time, you choose a GCP project and you will create an agent. And this place is where you will see the visual representation of your flows, of your conversation. And when you start your conversation for the first time, this will be empty, this screen. I am already opening an existing project. You will start by creating flows. Flows allow teams to work on individual conversation paths. Next, you will create entity types. Entity types are used to control how the data flows from an end user and how the data gets extracted. Dialect flow provides pre predefined system entities, as you can see here, as such as email address or city or, um, or names of a person. Those are all built in into dialect flow, but you can also create your own custom entities. That's what we did here. We created a custom entity shirt size. And uh, once you create the entity type, then you can specify the values of this entity and the synonyms on how you can still extract it. Now, once the entities are created, then you will create intents. That's what you do here, in intents. An intent categorizes the user's intention for one conversation turn. Dialog Flow CX only uses intents to match what the users are saying. An underlying model has been trained with the training phrases that were used to train the intent. Now, when a user says an utterance or when he types an utterance, Dialog Flow uh, will match it and find the intent with the highest match and that intent that will return the rest of the conversation. So that could be the response. Now, here you can see the training phrases that were used to train the intent name product. And there are various ways how you can say things. And as you can see, it contains the entity types uh, that are the variable parts of, of the conversation. Now, if we go back to the conversation, uh, the representation, the visual flow, in the build screen. Here you see the flow and the flow can consist of, 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 of flows where you can dive in or pages. This tree shows flows and pages. Dialog flow CX, a, conf a conversation or a session can be described and visualized as a finite state machine. So think about a um, vending machine, for example, eh, where you can choose candy or insert a coin, those are states. In Dialog Flow CX, pages are the states of a model for the Dialog Flow CX agent. Each flow can have many pages, that's what you can see here. As an end user interacts with the Dialog Flow CX agent in a conversation, the conversation moves pages from page to page at any given moment and only one page can be the active page the current page now pages they contain fulfillments so responses that can be returned and that can be static or that can be retrieved from a database and pages also contain parameters for extracting the variable parts or they can contain routes the way on how they transition. Now, if we look back into this flow, this tree, and you see blue lines, orange lines, and gray lines. These define the state handlers. And that is how you control the transitions, how you can move from one page to the other page, where we have intent routes, those are the blue lines, that happens when an intent is met, so for example, a user says something uh, where the model was trained on and then it knows how to move to the next page. We also see orange lines. These are conditions that should be checked 
based on certain parameters. So you're creating conditions like if else branches, for example. Then we have also event handlers. Uh, that is more for, uh, for example, when an event happens, like like a fallback, like or uh, or a user didn't say anything, so uh, there's no input. Now, as you can see, as an example here, this is an, a virtual agent for a T-shirt bot for a record label, and at the record label, you can order band merchandise like T-shirts or music like CDs. And um, the way how it typically works within conversations is if you know how the virtual agent works, then you could immediately in the very start of the beginning, immediately order your product and jump to, the, to order the product as you see in this line. So for example, I could say to the virtual agent uh, from the band Google, Google Dolls, I want to buy a t-shirt and I need size M and it immediately jumps in here. But if I'm a new user, I don't know what kind of questions the virtual agent would ask me. So I would start with saying hi, and then the virtual agent will prompt me like, well, I'm the G record label uh, virtual agent and I sell t-shirts and music. What do, you, what do you want? And you would ask that, well, which bands are signed up with your label? Well, these are the bands. Oh, and then what products do you sell? We sell CDs and T-shirts. Oh, I'm interested in a shirt. Do you want a long sleeve shirt or a T-shirt? What is your size? And you see, suddenly you drill down to uh, let the virtual agent prompt you with more uh, questions in order to continue the flow. Because at the end, you should compare this to how a website works um, that needs to gather parameters by entering uh, form fields. And you can only submit the form uh, once all the fields are, uh, are, are entered and you press submit for a conversation. It's kind of similar. You can only reach your end goal, okay? jump to the next flow, once you gathered all the parameters. And how do you gather the parameters? By steering the conversation to certain pages by asking follow-up questions. Or if the user already mentioned those parameters, okay, like the users that jump in and say, I want to buy a t-shirt size M, then already you don't need to ask those follow-up questions, then it's already there, it's presented. You keep that in the context. Let's give this a try. Let's test this out. Here in Dialogflow CX, we have built-in integrations. We have integrations for telephony uh, systems and we have integrations for text-based chats. These are integrations that are available out of the box. You can just enable it. If you want to uh, have your conversation running on a different type of software or, or, or platform, yeah, we also provide you the API so you can create the integrations yourself. It's not uh, that difficult because our documentation and API is very well uh, explained. Let's uh, click on uh, connect. You see when you connect the Dialogflow Messenger, this is the web component, text-based, then it shows you the JavaScript that uh, customers can put on their website, or you can test it directly in Dialogflow. This is what I'm doing here. It opens the chat bulb. I can start typing, I say hi. And you see here are the, the responses with nice buttons to steer the conversation. I can also type and I can say something that is not exactly uh, how the model was trained for, but because it finds the highest match, it still knows what you mean and uh, can steer the conversation that well. So in this case, I'm new. I don't know what uh, what artists are signed to the record label. So I'll ask that what artists, which artists are signed. Well, it tells me the following bands are signed. I was Googler, Jason Roses, the Goo Fighters, and the Google Dolls. From which of these artists would you like to order merchandise? Let's say the Google Dolls. Will we sell shirts, music, or the tour movie? Which merchandise item do you want? I want to buy shirts. Do you want a long sleeve shirt or a t-shirt? Give me a t-shirt, please. 
which shirt size do you want? I want an M. You can confirm the price and then it starts gathering all the uh, the parameters uh, in order to submit and send you the t-shirt. The there you go. I confirm. Thank you for your order. Your merchandise will be shipped today. This is the order number. Have a good day. Now let's give it uh, one more try. Now we're going to skip all the conversation parts and uh, directly dive into the the end, end flow. To buy a t-shirt size M. But you didn't mention which artist you're interested in. You can ask me to buy the t-shirt of the artist you like or... You can ask me which artists are signed. How can I help? Uh, the Google Dolls. A t-shirt of the Google Dolls, size M, costs $25. Shall I continue the order? Yes, confirm. And there you go. Now, this is just a glimpse of Dialect Flow CX. It ships with lots of enterprise features like versioning, testing, um, we have analytics built in and on top of multi-language support, over 130 languages and, and regional support where you can run your chatbot uh, across regions. This is just a small glimpse of it, but it gives you an idea of how powerful this tool actually is.